So hello and welcome back to the Collider Studio here at Comic-Con. Um, I am here with the Out of This World team behind Doctor Who. Um, Shooty, Millie, congratulations on your first packed Hall H panel. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. you guys did amazing this morning. Oh, um, thank you. Speaking of the Hall H panel, you guys dropped some awesome news. Um, that Sea Devil spinoff sounds fantastic. Um, thank you. So with shooting starting next month, can we expect it between maybe season two and three? Oh, we're not saying anything. <laughs> Fair not enough. giving that away. <laughs> it appear when it appears, but there Excellent. should be lots. There's more news to come about that. There's more cast to come, and I'm sure the, some of the filming will be in the papers and stuff like that. So keep watching. It's wonderful. going to be wonderful. Excellent. Um, I also loved that little glimpse of the Christmas special that we got. Aww. How is the doctor doing after saying goodbye to Ruby? Oh, you, you can I say? Do, we find him. He's he's sad. Yeah. He's sad. He's he's bored, and he's looking for an adventure. He's, um, and so he's he's yeah. He's sad. He's lost his best pal. I know. Um, That's what it's about in many ways, isn't it? That, that, yes. that he's missing her. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Nicola seems wonderful. Um, I think she's gonna maybe be exactly what the doctor needs right now. She, she teaches him a lot. Okay. She teaches him a lot, and <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> and they just they go on a beautiful journey together where they learn about themselves they yeah. find themselves um, exactly what the doctor needs yes yeah. <laughs> that is great to hear um i also you mentioned a couple of dream guest stars during the panel is there any chance we'll get to see 15 meet his wife uh you mentioned alex kingston oh. <laughs> <laughs> at some point well, there is no alex Kingston. i'm afraid i would yeah, that's like, we could just be honest and say that we didn't say that someone in the crowd shouted alex kingston oh. and actually many people in the world shout alex kingston they so often because she's so marvelous but um i saw her a while back actually she's lovely oh, yeah but uh no oh, no <laughs> <laughs> no, we got Ruby Sunday coming back. Yes, yeah, that's what's important. Yeah, I was speaking of Ruby's coming back. Can you um, tell us anything about what we can expect from season two with Ruby? Yes, I mean it's the rare case where you see the companion after the Doctor. I mean it's never been explored before, and I think it's such a beautiful and clever thing to do. I mean, can you imagine traveling the world with the Doctor and then seeing how they cope with it after when your life just goes back to normal? It was the weirdest feeling. Um, but yeah, I'm joined by the beautiful Jonah Howard King on her journey and he's a very, very interesting character and he makes the show even more magic. So I'm very excited for you to see what he's like. We've spoken a bit about um, how amazing it was to have Jinx on last season. Um, I want to know if you guys could pick another drag queen to come in, like each of you. If you could. Oh, I, I, oh this is no such question a perfect for combo. Oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> Trixie Mattel. Yeah. Trixie oh. Mattel. Wonderful choice. She would Bag be hilarious. Chips. Bag of chips. Bag of chips. <laughs> tea or coffee would kill us. Yeah, tea, tea and coffee. Tea. <laughs> tea was such a Doctor Who fan. Really? Yeah, oh my God. She was at the London she, premiere, she wasn't kill us. she? She killed us. She killed us. Tea or coffee. It would be so good. Tea or coffee. Yeah. I would love to see Lawrence Cheney myself. Yes. Oh, yeah. So good. Oh, Bimini Bamboo Lash. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. so good. Let's have Planet of the Drag Queens. <laughs> yes. Have to have them all. Yeah, let's just have an episode. Wow, that's good. Wow. It pops up with stories. It's really quite something. <laughs> So with uh, Boom, we saw you guys acting with Ferrata, um, and I'm so excited she's joining the like tradition of playing another character when she comes back. Yeah. Um, it sounds so exciting. Can you tease anything about the dynamic between the three of you? Can we? Uh, uh, we can. It's the more the merrier. The more the yeah. merrier. The hotter yes. the hotter. A strong so, team. So much. An even stronger team. Yeah. So stunning. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Now that the whole season is out, um, can you pinpoint any specific moments that you're most proud of um, in this wonderful first season? You guys did such an amazing job. Oh. Thank, Thank oh you so, gosh, so proud much. Of the whole um, I feel like it's yeah, poured I, I, our hearts and souls and yes. to it. It was a really nostalgic experience to watch back because it was nine months in the making. Mm -hmm. and we learned and grew so much and we, you know, yeah, we poured our heart and souls into that and it was a lot of hard work and so many people's hard work went into that. But um, for me, 73 hours, I was very, very proud of. Yeah. And yeah. you did such an amazing job with that. Thank I think we you. spoke about that before. Oh, thank you and, so um, much. Yeah. That means a lot. Thank you. Yeah, I think you mentioned some music in next season. Um, I'm not going to ask you to say anything about the music, um, but what's playing on each of your, like, TARDIS jukeboxes right now? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Um, right now. I'm oh gosh, personally... what's a song I've been listening to right now? Sabrina Carpenter has been on my playlist, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's been the, the girl of the summer. Yeah. The girl of the summer. Um, Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac, oh. a classic. Wow. I'd say right now, 
the doctor's listening to a lot of Frank Ocean because he's just yeah, he's just he's, lost he, yeah, Ruby. He's yeah. in his morning he's, era. He's in his morning era and he's just mm. yeah. he's listening to Godspeed by Frank Ocean. Yeah, perfect yeah. song. Yeah. What about you? I've got a lot of, I, I tend to listen to soundtracks when I'm writing. Excellent. And at the Aww. moment, is a sound, there's a film called Salt, starring Angela Jolie. Mm. Quite old now, it's about 10 years old. The mm-hmm. soundtrack by James Newton Howard, and it's such a great thriller. Mm. So I've got that all day in my head. <laughs> like that. It's great to write thrillers when you're listening to thrillers. Mm. Yeah. So mm. I've got that. Absolutely. <laughs> Can't sing uh, along to it, really. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Like that. <laughs> um, you all look amazing today. Is so there anything? Oh, thank you. you. Is there anything from your own wardrobe that you would want to add to doc- the Doctor and Ruby's like style? That's such a good question. Sunnies, look at us in our sunnies. <laughs> we need sunglasses in that show. <laughs> the amount of scenes I'm squinting in. I know. <laughs> Get some sunnies. Yeah. Yeah, I'd sunnies. say my sunglasses. I don't know. I think the doctor's got much better style than me. No. I think no. I need his, his. No, I don't we think you can add that. on the doctor's <laughs> wardrobe. Are you kidding? This is all the time and space. It's an infinite Anything, wardrobe. I, could, I don't know. I, I'm not cropped up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Less clothing. He wants less. to take away. <laughs> <laughs> so many layers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and now, just to celebrate uh, you guys, your first Comic-Con and you coming back to Comic-Con, mm. if you were to um, roam around Comic-Con dressed up as another character, like it doesn't have to be from Doctor Who, just any character in the entirety of your favoriteness. Um, who would you roam around Comic-Con as? Black Panther. Oh. Wonderful oh, choice. Good choice. <laughs> yeah, some some su- super woman of some sort. Wonder yeah, super woman. Wonder, Wonder woman. woman. Wonder woman. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Get me in that suit. I'd be C-3PO. Yeah. I think I'm very C-3PO. Uh, right. <laughs> Okay. Wonderful. Okay. What are you doing? (laughs) You already have the voice. (laughs) All right. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Thank you, you, Kalina. Wonderful to have you here. Thank Thank you so much. So lovely to see you again. You too.